final race of day three, a week three then is the race 39. We've had some races named after some big horses, but nothing's bigger than Red Rum. And this is the Red Rum Hunters Chase. Classic Chance, Alex Cherry, Amanda, Matt Cooper, New York Classic, Davy Ladd, Ronaldo, Matt Cooper, Emily Ho, Patrick Organ, Invictus Reigns, Hollywood, and Sembrail Thinking, Hollywood, Seven Runners M. We've had some classic Hunter Chases named after some really good. Horses, Brigon, Bow Ranger, and Silverback, but this is the biggest one of all, the Red Rum. And to chase here at Cab Barbary Castle. And the David Lard Train Scott is one at Knowing Classic. It's in the lead from Emily Owen from Highland in second, Matt Cooper, the English trainer back in third, and, and Ronaldo. Then we have another Scottish trainer in Alex Cherry and Derek Inton. English man, Sir Bill Finker and Invictus Reigns back pair. Oh, they all jumped the first three miles six in for the red one with this chase. 25 grand for this race alone. So a big pop for an at this chase early in the season. And now he classic. And Davy Lad. Leads by two lengths from Ronaldo in second. Well, that's lived up to his famous name behind his classic chance. On the inside is Emily O. Then Sukhal thinking. Invictus Reigns. And Amanda is looking on from the rear. Plenty of time though. That's a little crowd of people. Final race of the week then. I hope everybody's had a good day, a good week. A couple of winners or two. I hope the newbies are enjoying the league and come back next season in regular, you know, with a step in their feet. They right, let's get down to work, let's train up this breed these horses, let's get some big stable styles next season uh, let's talk about next year there will be a next season because so weight is a long way off yet I think and we're probably looking autumn September October time really if we can get it before Christmas it'd be a good thing if we can then we of course we'll do the few weeks then we'll have a Christmas break I like to think that people are already breeding for next season already and so September and October would be a better start than finish before Christmas. Um, any ideas people if you want to do that? Comments welcome. We're only on week three though so I think this is going till August isn't it something like that. So maybe October, November is better and then Christmas break. In week six or seven or something like that, around the Ascot time, usually. And then by next beginning of next year, we should have the new game. All these horses still standing, they're jumping that one. Emily hold the back marker. I'll probably be retiring after next season. I'm not planning on buying the next version of the game at the moment that's true I'm getting old and getting ill and uh, my eyesight's going in the right eye so uh, I'm alright to see at the moment but <laughs> right eye's already on the way out jump to the next Emily O towards the rear I've had some really health problems the last couple of seasons, people know. Now a classic, four limbs clear, oh, classic chance, I think Jim's had a few problems as well. As we get older, Jim, mate, things start to fall apart. Swinging left-handed, 
Maui Classic. It's three to four. Be a classic chance. Uh, a bit of underwhelm. And then Suheel Thinking and Ronaldo. Invictus Reigns. Amanda has uh, been around the world as well. I think this is uh, his second or third season. Uh, Hemley always towards the rear. I'll jump in that one. Now we're in Classic. Three glimpses clear of Classic Chance in second. Little gap to Sir Hill thinking and then Victor's Reigns, Amanda, Ronaldo and a gap to him, Leo. Uh, I know Martin said yesterday, because of course I pulled the music together, so I read his commentary about getting some support for commentating. I know Jim really struggles with his eyesight and he does do some comms for us and we really do need somebody to come in and do some comms for us really. Now in Classic, help Martin out. It's, I'm doing what I can on the jumps for him. I'll jump in that one and we really do. We're still not being around this season. It's a real struggle for Martin. To, because of his work as well. Time is the essence. Luckily, well I'll say luckily, the U starts this weekend so Martin might be more into the football than I am because uh, England's qualified, Wales hasn't so I won't be that eager to watch the football. Although if it comes to England, Scotland, sorry Martin, <laughs> being the true kelp. Uh, I'll be supporting Scotland. Uh, jumping out. I know I live in England, but that's because my wife is English. Doesn't mean I have to support England. I'd rather support Scotland. As well as kelp. Now in Castle jumps it three lengths clear of Amanda in second. Gap to Ronaldo and Emily O. Classic chance in Victor's Reigns and Surreal Pinkin. Uh, swing left-handed and nine classic. It's gone clear, yeah. It's four fellows clear. They all stand there. Amanda's in second. Back to Emily O. Ronaldo. And the other three classic chance too. Thinking, and the Victor Swain's struggling. They're swinging in. They got under two left. And now now we have to come back to Amanda. No, Amanda's a old hand at this game. Has coming down and chanced it. She timed it right. Because Emily O is making ground for Patrick Hogan in the, the second. The Irishman had to go towards the last. It's Amanda leading by 11. Emily O is trying hard to try and only class it up held now. They jump the last, but a good jump. Amanda's going to be quick. Quick double fear from Matt Cooper in the end. He's going to take the red one. And up towards uh, Amanda. It's been around for a while. Wins well. Clear of Emily O in second. Now he class it I think. So he'll think he made some very fast ground up finish. I may have gone in for a photo for third. And maybe a step up further for that one. No, he's not got into third, but maybe a bit further for that horse. But Amanda wins and a double for Mark Cooper. I'll see you next week.